Hello, my friends. It is our fifth mini Easter together during the season of Lent. Can you believe it? We are now at our fifth Sunday. Oh, I love that so much. The title of our devotion today is How Many Thank Yous. Well, I can think of some thank yous right now. I can think of thank yous to moms and dads who help you guys press play on these videos. I can think of thank yous to daycare providers who are pressing play and teachers who are pressing play. I can think of thank yous to babysitters and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles and other people who care about us so much who made sure that we have these videos sent to us. Oh my goodness, I can think of those thank yous right now. I can think of thank yous to you you who are watching this right now. I thank you so much for joining me day after day after day for devotions. This is our 33rd day and our fifth Sunday together. Wow, that is so awesome. So those are just my list of thank yous so far, but let's see what our devotion would have to tell us. It's asking us to take our Bibles and open them up to Luke 17 so that we can read verses 11 through 19 together. Go ahead, press pause, get yourself all set up, and when you're ready, we're gonna read these verses together. Luke 17, 11 through 19. As soon as you have it, I'm finding it right here. Got it! Okay, are you guys ready? Me too. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee, and as he entered a village, he was met by 10 lepers who stood at a distance and lifted their voices saying, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw he had been healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell down on his face at Jesus' feet giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, were not 10 cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, rise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. So there were 10 lepers, we're on Sunday five. I'm just so excited about that. I can't stop thinking about that. But there were 10 lepers in our story and one turned around and said thank you to Jesus and gave praise to God. Wow. Okay, now let's jump into our devotion. Okay, friends, keep those fingers handy because we're being asked to count, okay? It says, count how many times Austin said thank you this morning. Thanks, mom. Austin said when she gave him his orange juice. Thank you, he said to his teacher when she gave him a pencil. Thanks, he said when Jordan shared a snack at recess and thank you, Jesus. Austin whispered when he remembered how to spell the toughest spelling word on a spelling list. How many times did Austin say thank you? Did you guys get four? I did too. Think for a minute and see if you can remember saying thank you today. So now you think for just a second, mm -hmm, can you remember saying thank you today? Hmm. One time Jesus saw 10 men who had a sickness called leprosy. Jesus made all of them well, but only one man came back to say thank you. That man and Austin knew something very important. God gives us everything that we have and always loves us and takes care of us. In fact, he sent his only son to die on a cross for us. As nice as it is to say thank you to each other, it's even more wonderful to say thank you to God. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for all the blessings you give us every day. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Oh, friends, are you guys ready to see our medallion today, our disc? It looks like a thank you note, doesn't it? With a heart on it. You know how I love that. Now let's read what the back says. It says, send a thank you note to your pastor, teacher, or someone else who shares God's love with you. Oh, I love this so, so much. Oh, 
It's so great. I've already got a bunch of people flooding to my mind. I need to get my th my my uh, thank you notes ready. I was going to say my love notes, but I don't know. Maybe thank you notes is better. I'm going to have to do that, aren't I? Mm-hmm. And you're going to have to do that too. I love you so much, friends, and I'll meet you back here tomorrow.